lived out. <laughs> First question is going to go to Lauren. Thanks, Rafa. Hi, Breck. How are Hi, you? How are you? You were here last season when the team made a late playoff push. What needs to happen this season to see that resiliency again? Um, I think we're just taking it one game at a time. That's all we can do in this situation. So, um, obviously, we need to go out this weekend and get three points um, and then look at the next game. I don't think we can look too far ahead. The next question is going to go to Michelle and then Franco. Uh, Breck, you probably would have been blushing if you were in the room before when I asked Phil about you and to just sort of assess you know, what you've meant to the team this year. And he said that you're the guy who gives him the least problems, that you're, just, you're always ready to work, you're always ready to play whatever position. He mentioned to you today, he said that you could end up playing center back and you're like, that's fine, I'll do whatever. Can you just talk about how do you maintain that steady, you know, it's a very emotional game. You see a lot of guys go up and down, and his what he said about you is that you're just you're just steady. You come to work every day, work your tail off, go home, and do it again the next day. Every team in the world, he said, needs more Breck Shays. Um, how do you do that? How do you just maintain for so many years that you've been playing that that kind of mentality? Well, I think it is the the fact. I don't know if that's always true. I have days where I'm not as happy as other days. Um, just like anyone else. But uh, I try to come and, and be happy and try to, to keep everyone positive no matter what it is, even if we're doing well or, or when things aren't going well. But at um, the end of the day, for me, it's uh, I love what I do, and I, and I come in, and then I get to go home and see my family. So if I have a bad day at work, we lose a game, as mad as I am, I go home, and then I see my kids. You know, uh, I guess there's just, uh, in the end, bigger things in life than um, what's right in front of you. So... You think that helps you be a better player even in some ways, just that perspective? I think it helps me be a better person. I think it helps me be a better player. Um, you need a short-term memory in this game sometimes, in any sport. So um, you can go out and have the best game. doesn't matter. The next game is completely different. You could have the worst game. The next game is completely different. So you just need to um, <clears throat> take the, the highs, keep them a little lower, and the lows a little higher. So just I try and stay uh, happy and positive in, in every situation. This is a – this is a – Get to job, not a got to job. Next question, Franco. Hey, Breck. Uh, from a collective standpoint and a soccer standpoint, you guys play the Red Bulls um, that you guys played here recently. The game didn't go your guys' way here. Different moments for both teams. But from a soccer standpoint, how do you guys go about beating their high press? How do you go about dealing with that? Anybody who's followed the league for a while knows that that's their, their DNA. Love the high press, create turnovers, win second balls. How do you guys go about putting the game more on your terms on, on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, um, like you saw last time, they, they, they press high. They wait for that backwards pass, and they come with everything they got. So if we can just suck them in and then penetrate that, that backwards pass, reaching further lines than just what's right in front of us, um, we, we cut out four to six players, and, and then we go in the attack. And then they're retreating, and then we have opportunities. So if we can find ways to, to play through them quickly and further than just what's right in front of us, um, and beat that press, then I think we have the advantage. As long as that we get past that, then I, I would take us a million times over them. Next question, Dairon, then Michelle. Thank you, Rafa. As Michelle just said, uh, uh, Phil Neville talked about the possibility that you are playing center back in, in, the, in that line of three. So I wanted to, you, to know your uh, thoughts about it. How do you feel playing that uh, back line of three? Uh, I mean, I've been playing a long time, and funny enough, I've played center back before, f I think four or five times in Dallas days. So I'm um, in a flat back four. So I've been there. I've done. I played forward, so I know what forwards tend to do. I know what forwards don't like. I did what I didn't like when I was younger, but center backs did. So, um, and and I've been watching Christian and um, Leandro and and Nico. They they're they're incredible what they do. Um, so. I'll try my best to fill in, and, and I'm excited about that role. Uh, to help the team, like uh, I said earlier, that's what I'm here to do. Next question, Michelle. Uh, Phil, one of the other things he was talking about is that at this point in the season, the, the most important thing is belief, belief that you guys can make the playoffs. And you know, he feels like at this point in the season, some guys still fully believe, and they're on the train or the bus, whatever the vehicle is. And uh, other players are. You know, maybe their minds are starting to wander or they've already kind of given up hope or maybe they're thinking about the holidays and stuff. 
Um, how would you assess where the team mood is right now and the team belief as, as a collective? And I guess individually and as a collective, where is the team belief right now that you guys can still be in the playoff picture? Yeah, I think uh, everyone has their, their own situations, whether it's uh, on the team or maybe things at home. But uh, I'll tell you, when it comes Saturday, everyone will be focused and, and, and focused on that game and get three points. And that's um, all I can ask. I, obviously, people um, vary in situations. But when it comes Saturday, I, from what I've seen and what I, I know from these people, these players, that uh, everyone will be ready to play and fight for three points. And like I said, that's what we need to do. Three points Saturday, and then move on to the next game. We can't look too far ahead. Next question, Franco. Frank, we touched on the Red Bulls high press. Um, but for you guys, what do you guys need to do more or need to do better in the final third to not only create more chances maybe, but put, start putting them away? Obviously, the statistics show you guys are the, the lowest scoring team in the league. You're going to need goals to get wins, to get points, to make up the ground. So what do you guys need to do, or what have you guys been working on to improve in that facet, which is so important? And if I could just ask you a quick second one, um, how have you adjusted to, to life in South Florida? It's been two seasons now. How have you and your family adapted to, to just being here, um, now with things getting a little bit more normal, especially this year? Yeah, uh, I mean, I'll answer the second one first. I, I really enjoy South Florida. Uh, my wife is from here. Um, her parents live here. We uh, feel very comfortable here. Um, we spent our off seasons here, actually, before we lived here. So uh, I really enjoyed Florida. I'm happy to be here. My family's very happy to be here. Um, and the fan base is actually crazy. I was in Home Depot yesterday, and, and fans came up to me and started talking to me. And it's it's cool to 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 see that. And it's a it's not like a small town. It's very spread out. And I don't live near Miami, so um, we've really enjoyed it. Yeah, I remember the the gentleman was very nice, and it was after uh, Cincinnati. He just congratulated me on my goal. Um, yeah, so and <laughs> it was cool to to obviously see that the the, the fan base is growing. Um, the first question, yeah, we we need to create more chances. Um, to be fair, we've created chances. We just haven't put them away. Um, and I, to to me, if we score one goal or six goals, I don't really care. I just want us to win. Um, I think we. If we take our chances when they come and we put them away, we'll win. Last question, Dido. Thank you, Rafa. Um, we were just talking about the team. And I wanted to ask you as, as a player how, how you feel this. Do you, do you think that uh, it, there is a perfect communication between all the players of the squad? Uh, do you feel like uh, the whole team is completely going uh, through the same direction, or sometimes you feel like uh, not all the team is 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 talking, is communicating to solve the problems that you are having. For example, not creating chances, but put them in in the goal. Yeah, I mean, uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, uh, scoring is a hard thing. This is what everyone we do every day to train to to score and prevent goals. So. Um, we had a couple chances last game. I mean, I had one myself. I, I, I felt like I should have scored. So, I mean, we put those away. We're not here talking about that. Um, and for, as the team, um, th this trip was the first road trip we've had in two years um, on this length. And it was the closest I've ever seen the team together um, off the field. So um, results haven't went our way in the last few games. But I think the team's tighter than it's ever been um, as, as, a, as a group. Thank you, Breck. And thank you, everyone. We'll see you on Saturday. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for your break. No worries.